Okay, so uh, I will give my thoughts about the deck like just by glancing over the cards and what I like know about Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Um, this deck going first must be decent, um, but I think the biggest issue by far of this deck is consistency. I can see this deck losing randomly to one hand trap or lack of consistency quite often. Um, the upside is that you have a lot of defenses, so it is even if you break, it's possible that you stop opponents too, especially with the shifter and solid judgments and things like blackout. So if you go first, you it, that is a big chance you win. Um, but like the consistency sounds like the worst part of this. Okay, this is pretty much the same amount of consistency that any version has without the tiny cards all right you have, you just play other another cards instead of tennis like tech cards they don't they don't increase your amount of plays you can do um shifter is decent in this i feel like especially because you play trap so shifter pretty much buys a turn back so when you use shifter you're just winning you're rolling the dice again right to see who starts because let's say you start a turn, you go drop face shifter. I don't know if the intention to play this deck is to play like this. Maybe you can wait a little bit and use shifter when they commit a little, or you just do draw face. I'm not sure uh, what's the idea. I feel like I want to wait a little bit in order to use shifter, not to draw face it. Uh, so they commit something on the board. Maybe that's good, I guess. I don't know. But you pretty much gain the die roll. So it shifter makes the traps a little bit better, I think, right? That's the fury. Um, and you have the blackouts. Like the, the idea is to simplify the game state by like doing f better trades, I think. Um, that's pretty much it. Then you have like 12 hand traps, I think, right? Yeah. You have 12 hand traps and you have the chalice too. Desire is already can instant win. So that's pretty much it. Like my problem with this, looking again, without playing it, is that the consistency sounds weird. Sounds weird. So yeah, we'll see. Um, also, another thing that I forgot to mention, there is not a lot of cards to Moe Moe to show, right? You have this, 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 and this, and other Moe's. It's not that much. Um, Moe is the Moe is the one card combo that you have alongside this. Uh, also, the long guns sounds a little bit expensive, like the long guns discards could be expensive too, um, sometimes, so that's something that you need to be aware. I, so I'm going to play one now, like it's, I'm not an expert on this deck, so I will probably make mistakes on technical parts, so be aware. Uh, that's something that will happen, but like the idea here is for me to play something that is different than I'm usually uh, that I'm usually to, uh, that's usual for me to play, and yeah, getting out of the comfort zone. Um, that's it. The, this version is not that complicated in comparison with the the tiny one, I think. So yeah, I said it wrong. Okay, so I win the dice roll. Change the deck, main deck warning instead of judgment. Oh my god, okay. I mean, I need to start with Ecclesia, right? I don't think I have a choice here. I mean, I could start with this, but then this doesn't do anything. I mean, it does, right? Um, I can do, I have two options, right? I can do long and discard this and make Baroness and just normal summon this. And then make Taya, Taya effect. I mean, is that good? <laughs> I don't know. That plays around Nib. I mean, plays around Nib. Um. To display, let's see. Do this, make Baron is normal summon this, but that's better into Nib, right? 
Yo, I, I'm going to summon this, right? Okay, let's start like this then. And keep long, that's what you want to do? I mean, it's not completely out of the possibility. Discard blackout and then I get another blackout, right? And a draw. That is better, right? Yeah. I can do both, I can only search or banish, I can do the two effects. I don't know if that's worth it. If I make Baroness and I don't get the trap, it's weird. Yeah, I know, but I can't search if I do that. I can only do one, I can only do one, oh my fucking god. Okay, but then I don't have absolutely no follow-up, right? Is Baron is better than two pops? I don't have a follow-up anyway, right? Jesus Christ. Um Okay, I'll do that. Oh thank god. Desire is the best card in this deck. Top deck is my follow. Yeah, I feel like two pops is better. But I made the unfortunate decision to read the chat. Uh, if Barone survives, the game is over. This play is much worse. This is also weak into Nib. You guys really bait me into a much worse decision. Now I'm committed to that, but like the other play that I was considering in the beginning was much better than this. <laughs> I will blame the chat again, yeah sure. I will blame the chat. Don't play into Nib. Now I'm committed. Now I'm committed. I will do the chat play just to show how shitty this was. Yeah, no, Diaz was helping. Okay, thank God there was no need. But like, that was worse. I said it was worse. She saw it's on summon. The negate effects are not on summon. Okay, I will stop reading the chat. You guys are just saying random words now. Ah, I could have banished from deck. I see what you meant. I see, I see what you meant. Now I see what you meant. I mean, okay, it would be better to banish one from deck instead of the one from grave. You're, you're right, you're right. I think I'll say okay to this, right? This is probably a flounder, yeah. Nice Nibiru. So he 
look at the penguin. Yeah, I won. Flunder cannot play green second. Okay, so I'm going second. Yeah, but it was extremely weak to Nib, the play that you mentioned. Okay, so going second to Flunder, right? So what I want, I want this, I think, right? I want this, for sure. I, maybe I want this, okay. I, let, let me see what I need to side out. I need to side out this. I have a lot of side out this, for sure. Um, this and this. This is for sure cards, right? So all those zim, and I think all those zim too. So that's happening. That's always happening. Uh, then I think I can side this out. This this for more back row removal. He sh he just should have scoped yeah, without showing the deck, right? I think I put the cyclones. I feel like cyclones is better than feather. Maybe maybe I can do something like this. Maybe one blackout, it's enough. I mean, I need to remember this is not the regular deck, right? So maybe I can do some. I can do something so extreme like this. Maybe. Mm, I don't know. I don't want to draw seven points. Okay, I, I will do this. Let's see. Let's see. Problem is that I bricked. And I mentioned this was one of the issues of the deck, right? Consistency. I need my draw phase to save me. I mean, is this being saved? Like, I was, I'm just going to like throw two cards into like interactions. I will, but like, I will under prote prote protest. I think I have to long gun. I don't, I don't think I can wait with this deck. So I just long gun here. Hope no solemn judgment. I mean, I just need to like hope a lot. I mean, my monster survived. That's a, a really good outcome. This card is dumb. This is the first time that I summon this card. Okay, this is fine. This is flurry control. Well, <laughs> this is my strategy. <laughs> This is funny. The consistency of this deck is really low. I feel like this deck needed at least three more like starters. I don't know if that's possible, but like that would be good. Okay, this is the one. Okay, let me think. Maybe I need to negate this because he can tribute my shit, right? Let me read this. Uh, you. 
you can conduct tribute some of the required two tributes on by single moments it was only one card upon the control to the graveyard instead of the tribute during your main phase you can reveal blah, blah, blah. I think I might negate this because if you summon some I mean because it's also annoying that he can shuffle cards I will negate this yeah I know he co needs to commit a card but like I, I also considering the whole uh, shuffle cards effect also him perms yeah nothing to do about that I mean, it was good to negate because he used in perm anyway, right? So, the fact, since he used in perm means that he needed it. Yeah, he had it, right? Look. He had it. I know he needed multiple cards to, to make the this to be relevant, but like, the likelihood of multiple cards were higher if I let this result because maybe he... He had like um, the most in hand. He wants to shuffle some, so he can have like the exact hand that he wants with the map and shit like that. Uh, this imperm was a little annoying. I can't use this one for now. My my flare absolute cannot die. Oh my god! Do I have an? I have a lot of outs. Okay, this at least is not as bad because I have a lot of outs. Not right now, but I do have outs. I have two cycles on Feather. Only that, right? Yeah. I have three outs. I have Storms too, but like I don't think they count too much. I mean, I can draw Longyan and Storm and then have an out. Oh, that's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Uh, I'm seeing there is any way that I can try to to play around Lancing Chain. No, right? Yeah. Oh no, can I gate Lance with this? Oh no, I already did. I already did. I can do this draw phase, right? If I want to. I have one black out too. I forgot. I would just normal summon an attack, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, not set. Nice, fun and interactive. Mine is not the problem card, okay? <laughs> mine is not the problem card. Who complained about mine for three days straight? Not me. I never complained about Misk mine. It wasn't me. Do you remember a person who complained about mine for three days straight? I don't. Okay? I don't. I don't remember. Okay, let me get some water real 